Hello and welcome. This is the place where you can get the most for your consumer dollar and avoid paying if you don't have to. This is the Cheapskate Show and I'm here to help you help yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to make some money. And it doesn't require a lot of special skills and it's fun to do. I'm going to show you how to get paid for taking pictures. You can use a regular camera or you could even use your smartphone. There are a number of sites out there that are willing to pay you for taking pictures in certain categories. This comes under the uh, purview of uh, residual income. In other words, you do stuff one time and you keep getting paid again and again and again and again for it. That's the best kind of money. These sites are called stock photography sites. And stock photography are pictures that companies and individuals use to put in their advertisements or in their publications. And they buy these pictures from these different stock agencies out there. And the stock agencies get the photos from folks like me and you. Uh, you can take pictures of almost anything. Preferably things characteristic to your own particular part of the world. Uh, it's a very lucrative business because if you happen to take a picture that people like, they'll buy it over and over and over and over as long as it's current and up to date. In other words, if you take a picture of a cityscape, people have to be wearing up to date clothes. You can't have a picture of people in 1948 clothes and expect it to be current today. This type of thing. But there are sites that specialize in vintage or period type places. It's just all in the classification that you use. The sites that you need to go to, one is called iStockPhoto. S-I-S-T-O-C-K-P-H-O-T-O dot com. iStockPhoto. Uh, if you want to get a, an app where you can sell smartphone pictures, a very good one that I use all the time is called FoApp, spelled F-O-A-P. You can find that in the Google Play Store. There's also another app where you can use a regular camera and it's called Shutterstock, S-H-U-T-T-E-R-S-T-O-C-K dot com. These places will pay you. Of course, your photo needs to meet certain criteria such as uh, appearance, composition, things of that nature. You know, go on the internet and take a look to see what makes a good photo. And, uh, you know, you just can't have people cheesing in front of it. But taking pictures of landscapes, businesses, uh, as long as you have no commercial signs in it, people on construction sites, people... Uh, Farming, working, working in a factory. If you work in a factory, get out your cell phone and take a picture of the assembly line. Just make sure that no identifiable people in it because you have to get what's called a model release for it. Make sure if you have people in it, you can't tell exactly who it is where they can't go, hey, that looks like Mo. You know, that type of thing. But stock photography is a way to supplement your income. And in some cases, people have made it their full time income through residual income. Like to take video, they have another uh, place called uh, iPond or Pond for it. You look it up on the internet. I lose track of it all the time. But uh, take a look on there. It comes, it's, this name is Pond. Uh, my memory, I'm getting seen on, it's getting late. But they do video. Of course, I stock and shuttle stock. Oh, I know what it is. Pond 5. That's what it is. And they pay the most for your video footage. If you're in art, they will buy your artwork. You know, it's called stock art, stock patterns. You can make all kind of money doing this. And all three of these outfits do that. The four app is pretty much just for pictures. But the other ones are for more lucrative type things. These are to help you make money and hopefully you'll make plenty of money by being a very good photography and just taking pictures in places that you pass by all the time. I really hate when I was a trucker I passed by gorgeous landscapes and I didn't take pictures. It would have been nothing for me to park the truck on the side of the road and take some 
awesome pictures which I could have made a fortune on the internet for. But live and learn. I didn't have the proper information. And I'm trying to give you the proper information so that you can enhance your life and increase your finances and get paid. I hope this information has been helpful to you. And if it has, please like and share this video. And if you found this video useful, please highlight the web bar at the top of your browser, the HTTP colon double slash. Copy it, uh, highlight it and share, highlight it and copy it rather and share it to all the social media sites that you have and spread the wealth. Put up there, I got paid taking a picture, you can too. Send it on, send them back to me and I'll give them the particulars and everything will be fine and wonderful for everybody. Remember, knowledge shouldn't cost anything, it's free. Everybody should benefit and the new wealth is knowledge. Thanks for listening. Catch you.